philosophies, policies, practices. This is the Automotive Management Minute with Richard Bustillo. So a real popular topic that I'd like to talk about today is customer concern resolution. And being that we've won the President's Award four years in a row, that's always at the top of our leaderboard and things that we always want to work on. But even the best dealerships occasionally fail to complete and satisfy the customer in either sales or service. So how was it that we were going to differentiate ourselves from everyone else? Well, first it starts with leadership. And it has to start at the very top. You need to be willing to do whatever it takes to make the customer your best friend. So what we did at Ray Case was, we had a meeting with all the managers, and I wanted all my management to know that no matter what, the customer was always right. And I know that's something easy to say, and maybe it's been said a lot, but the reality was, if the customer got to me, they were gonna be 100% satisfied. So I wanted to empower every one of my managers to be that hero and not let it get to the top. I recommend that you eliminate the problems at the lower levels because once they escalate through the tiers of management, the customer is only getting more fuel, more steam, and it's going to be harder to resolve the issue. So let me give you an example of how a small little mistake can turn into a huge problem at a dealership. Just last night, we had a customer that took delivery of a vehicle, and we were up late last night. The car wash, well, you know, our detailers weren't working after 8 o'clock. The customer took a car that wasn't properly cleaned. The next morning, the customer calls up. The salesperson, of course, is off. He's not here. The customer then gets frustrated and asks for a manager. Now, the manager that's here in the morning wasn't the one that was here last night. So the manager doesn't know the situation. So instead of the manager taking the initiative and just saying, folks, not a problem, go ahead and bring it in. We'll detail your car and we'll give you some gas for the trouble. They say, well, folks, let me get your name and number. When we get the closing manager to come in, we'll have him call you and take care of the situation. That's a crucial mistake. In those three to four hours, now the customer's even more upset. Now he's asking to speak to the general sales manager. Maybe he's in, maybe he's not. Maybe he's busy, maybe he's not. Let's say he doesn't get to him. Now they're calling me. Now I get a customer on the phone that bought a car that was a raving fan when he left, that now is a raving, upset customer because of one thing. Our manager on the initial contact did not resolve the issue. So empower your managers to take care of it right then and there. Don't make them ask. I would much rather coach a mistake than have an upset customer.